we are looking at uh, waste today in a far different manner than we did years ago. And it is a resource. And of course, um, the, the um, escape or the, um, uh, the pollution, as, as they, they name it in the valley, is absolutely minute. But Patricia Ross has said there are absolutely no conditions under which incineration of garbage will be acceptable in this airshed to us? Well, you know, we, we can take an absolute stand on anything, and we have seen what happened when a gentleman took an absolute stand in another part of the world. I don't believe in, in moving ahead in that manner. You cannot take absolutes in today's world. Rodney, good morning. Hi. Yeah, I've just, I live in Abbotsford, and I uh, come in and out of the valley every day for work. i got a couple of little points here. First off, I, I don't know. You're not going to convince me no matter what that burning garbage is a good thing. Weren't we always, didn't everyone grow up getting told not to throw your plastics in the campfire because it was so dangerous, you don't want to breathe that stuff in? And every day I go out to, after a sunny day, I drive out to Vancouver. You can see the smog building up, working its way out to the valley. After a week driving home into the valley, you can barely see Mount Baker after a week of sunshine. It's already disgusting. And no matter what you try and say, you're not going to convince me this is a good thing. And I, another point, did you not just, uh, Ms. Jackson, just sneak in a reference to Patricia Roche's attitude about the incinerator? Did you compare it to the Norwegian guy? Oh, about absolute, a absolute decision. Did you just sneak in a little reference comparing her attitude toward incineration? To the Norwegian murderer? Well, I'm, I'm that's sorry. That's what I just heard. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I think maybe it, maybe it was a bad analogy, but I'm talking about um, a, a position, and it came to mind that there was a position taken by someone w without um, conversation, without sitting down and discussing, without talking, without working through things, and that was the only the only uh, reference I was making. It, it maybe it was a poor one. Uh, I do not mean to uh, to uh, um, you know bring any uh, uh, concern uh, uh, to Patricia. She has worked very hard, and I respect her and appreciate her. And I'm sorry if, if that was mistook.